I'm Pallavi Shirude, a cloud architect here at AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to create an AWS Lambda function that can run queries in Amazon Redshift. So let's get started. After logging into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Console. Create a new VPC or use a default VPC. For this demo, we'll be creating new VPC. Navigate to the subnets section from left panel on VPC console. Here, we'll create a private and a public subnet. Now select the route tables from left panel. Convert the default route of the newly created VPC to the private route by associating a private subnet to it. Now create a new route for public access and then associate the public subnet to it. From left panel, select Internet Gateways. Create a new Internet Gateway and then associate the gateway with the newly created VPC. Navigate to the Amazon Redshift Console. Choose Configuration tab from the left panel and select the subnet groups. Create a new subnet group with the newly created VPC and the private subnet. Create a new Amazon Redshift cluster, then launch it into the newly created subnet group with the database dev. Use the default user AWS user and enter a password. Note that this database name can be changed to whatever user like. Navigate to the AWS Secret Manager console and choose Store a new secret. Select Credentials for Amazon Redshift Data Warehouse and then provide the username and password that you created earlier. And then choose Next. Enter a secret name and add a tag with a key Redshift and value as KC Cluster. And then choose Next to create a new secret. Just say Store. Now navigate to the AWS Lambda console and create a new function with Python 3.9 as a runtime. Use all other default settings. Paste this code to create the Lambda function. You can find the code in the article linked in the video description. Navigate to the Configuration tab and then select Permissions. Choose the IAM role to open the IAM console for that Lambda role. Select Attach Policies from the Add Permission drop-down list. Then add Amazon Redshift Data Full Access and Secret Manager Read Write Access Permissions. Go back to the Lambda console, navigate to the Configuration tab and under that select General Configuration. Choose the Edit button and increase the timeout to three minutes, and then save. We are changing this timeout window for this demo to three minutes as we are connecting to Redshift and creating a view as well as a table. This time may vary based on the script. Now in the configuration tab, select the environment variables. Choose the edit button and add the keys as secret ID and our secret name. 
Now return to the code tab and then deploy and then we'll test. Here, as we see, the response is given back, which means it is successful. It says API successfully executed. So this code creates a new view and a new table on dev database in the newly created Amazon Redshift cluster. Validate the objects by connecting to the Amazon Redshift cluster using the console query editor through Secret Manager. As we see, this new view has been created as well as a new table has been added. So now you know how to create AWS Lambda function that run queries in Amazon Redshift. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.